Hello friends and welcome back to real time chat series and if you want to have a great project listed in your resume this is the great project. So in this episode we are actually going to persist our chat in the session like if you say hey and I will send it yeah it's working properly but what if I refresh here it's gone from here but it's still here. So we have to do something to have our messages on the chat. Okay, so I'm using here the sessions. If you want, obviously, you can use the database. Like I save the chats on the session, you can save on the database. This is not a big deal. So I'm using a session. So let's see how we can do that. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see how we can do that and let's open project in Sublime. So here we have our chat project here and if I open assets JS app.js so you can see every time we are sending the data to our database that means the message so let's open the chat controller so chat controller here it is and on the send part you can see we are getting the user and firing the event so in between I want to save these messages in the sessions so I will create a new function called save to session okay simple and here what I will do I will simply save the session so I will say oops session and that has to be uh, put then the name of the session which is chat and here I will give the message so request arrow message so obviously I have to get the request and now I'm calling this function here so name is save to session and let's pass the request okay so we have created the session we have this session used here and let's go and see how we can check all these things so for this we have to go to our here project and let's give a message so I will say hey and it's working no error now we have to see whether we have the message in our session or not so let's open the web.php file and here for checking let's create a temporary route called check and here what I will do I will just return session and the name of session is chat okay so this is good and let's go to chrome and go to this route so slash check and yeah we have this message whatever I have typed here so if I type something else and go refresh yeah it's here but you can see the old one is gone <laughs> so we have to do something else so now if I go to app.js you can see we are only giving the message but every message we are saving on this chat data so why not send the whole chat data so I will say chat colon this dot chat so I am sending this chat also obviously I have to run npm also because I have made changes in our app.js file so I will open terminal here I will say npm run watch okay and okay it's saying this is the error so we have to not use that semicolon here and now it will compile and this is successful okay so now what we have to do let's go to chrome once more and hard reload so I have to open console then I can hard reload this you can see if I say hey 
it's having some error that means I have to open console and here you can see it's not getting that this dot chat messages dot push because whenever the page loads we have given here to get the session in the chat but for this browser our session is actually empty so you can see here so th in that case chat doesn't have any messages object here this one okay so what we have to do we have to say we only want this to be happen if response dot data is not empty okay if this is not empty then only we are going to pass otherwise we don't have to do anything so let's go here once more reload this page and open chrome also and give hey here from here it's here and it's here also so if i refresh here having the messages sent by this user but not the messages received similarly if i refresh here i only have this message so we have to do same thing exactly same thing whenever we are receiving any message so we have to say here whenever we receive we have to get the we have to get the messages via the session so same thing get message but this time this is not a get old message this is has to be because we want to save the incoming message in our session so we have to call it save to uh, session so we have this one so whenever we are sending data okay whenever we are sending data we are giving this chat and in the controller we are doing this but this time we just want to give this okay so let's see how we can do that I have to do the same thing so save to session I have this route no I don't have so let's call this let's create this route so save to session this route I have created and add save to session and I have save to session variable here okay so let's see what happened so I will go here so here what we have to do we just want to send the data so send the data so the chat is this dot chat okay so now we don't need this one that's okay so let's see how other thing works so go here go here reload this page and it says some kind of error unexpected something maybe this one I will always use semicolon that's the problem okay so it's working let's say hey this is the here but save to session is not working network and what it says okay too few argument are provided zero passed exactly one expected okay so here we have to see here we have this request here but obviously we want to get the request request okay this one that means the post request I want okay so this is good for now so let's go here and reload and let's see what happened that's uh, good here let's open Safari that's also good and I am will say hey it's here and reload and you can see it's here and if I say hi giving here and it's here reload Safari and it is staying here so our chat system is working absolutely fine and obviously this system this session system will work until the browser is okay because we have in our config folder we have sessions dot php and the session using file and what where is this file this file is the in the storage framework 
and session you can see these are the messages we have so let's once more open this session.php so we are saving the session in a file then lifetime that means 120 minute it will staying here so i think that will be fine and this will close expire on close so we are not using that so if i say here true so now let's do this for false ones okay and i will open safari let's uh, close this safari and now i will reopen safari go to localhost slash chat you can see it's staying here again but if i say true go back to safari close safari reopen it localhost chat it is again staying here let's restart the server okay and reload so we have to close it once more safari localhost chat and yeah you can see everything is gone so gmail.com one two three four five six and no chat available so you can make it again false if you want okay next thing is if user want to clear the chat how we can how the user do that so instead all these things what we can say we can give a button which will just do one thing which is called forgot session so let's open sublime and here i will create a new function called delete session okay and here we just have to do one thing called session arrow forget and the name of the session session is here let's open our resources folder and in the views in the chat dot blade let's give a button so where we can give the button um, let's say here delete chats okay so here after where we have yeah here is the number so what i can say here one more is span and let's say something like delete and class of btn btn info let's see how it's look like and it is too big so make it small so btn how about that yeah it's good okay so this is good and let's use not info let's use uh, warning yeah this is good okay and i want this to be somewhere else i don't like this so where i can put it uh, maybe just after this input box so how about that so let's give this and yeah it's good so i will give just a pr tag so give a margin and i will say delete chats and when i click on this button what i want at click i want to say delete sessions okay this method i have to create and let's use not a span user anchor text so that i can give href of nothing and here on click dot prevent otherwise it will reload the page okay so let's go refresh and yes it's a clickable but not working so delete session method i have to create on app.js methods are here and let's create delete session give an axios copy paste and obviously i don't want this error part not this part just want to give delete session and nothing else okay so let's open web.php and create a new route called delete session so delete session 
and which will target to chat controller at delete session we have and we are forgetting everything so let's go reload yeah we have these message if I say delete chat it's gone but obviously we have to provide some kind of notification so now we have to say um, dot then as we have to do like we are using like this so response arrow here I will say that uh, where is that notification toaster here it is so I will say here like this where is that yeah here it is so I will say and let's say chat history is deleted okay so it is compiled with an error because this is a thing let's see yeah build successful let's go reload type something hit chat chat history is deleted and if I refresh everything is gone okay so this is the thing we have created so I think the chat series is good and if you have learned something from Bitfumes and if you want to donate please donate on on patreon.com where you can donate one dollar or more and don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram. so we will meet again in some other videos so till then goodbye